Did scientists just discover a theory of everything? Making a real theory of everything is the key to solving the universe's riddles. Since Albert Einstein revolutionized physics, physicists all around the world have been seeking this elusive, all-encompassing notion as their holy grail. But have we now discovered the reality? Today, we're responding to the astounding inquiry, did scientists just discover a theory of everything? There are two main branches of modern physics. There is the quantum physics-based standard model. General relativity is another. In other instances, the standard model even uses the smallest words to describe physics. It descends to quantum mechanics and subatomic particles. While general relativity examines the largest objects in the universe. Things like galaxies, gravity, stars, black holes, and how they all work. Although these two paradigms don't directly conflict with one another, they also don't yet coexist in harmony. In order to create a theory of everything, scientists have been attempting to combine these two models ever since Einstein presented his theory of general relativity. A study that examined theoretical wormholes and was published in Nature in late 2022 might have revealed a contender for the theory of everything. A theory of quantum gravity may have been discovered by the scientists working on it, many of whom are headquartered at the California Institute of Technology and Harvard University. Gravity has historically been the major idea that has resisted attempts to transfer it into quantum terms and is the key building component in the search for a theory of everything. But this is where the issue might be resolved. Computer models of wormholes, created to demonstrate how these hypothetical structures might actually function, were at the center of the investigation. A wormhole might be thought of as a bridge in space-time where reality is bent so drastically that great distances can be traversed through it. As bizarre as they are, they are a mainstay of science fiction, and if Einstein's general theory of relativity is accurate, then they could definitely exist. We haven't yet discovered any wormholes in the actual, physical world or cosmos, but there are several potential explanations for this. For instance, Wormholes could be incredibly rare or practically hard to find. Or they could be extremely transient, so even if we did find one, it would be long gone before we could possibly hope to get to it. The early wormhole models that we do have indicate that they would at least be extremely unstable and likely to collapse if someone or something attempted to go through one. However, there are numerous answers to Einstein's equations that result in other kinds of wormholes for us to take into account. The possibility of micro-wormholes is another scientific conjecture. These would be far smaller than a regular wormhole and much more stable. The 2022 study, in which the wormhole simulators were produced using a quantum processor, has shed more light on the possibility for these. This is the best alternative we presently have to get a hands-on look at how they might operate because there isn't an actual wormhole nearby to investigate. And we have only lately been able to achieve that because of the development of quantum computing. The quantum bits used by modern processors to convey information at subatomic scales are simultaneously both a 1 and a 0 until they are observed, like they are in a quantum superposition, as opposed to being permanently one or the other as they are in conventional computing. Although this is complicated, it has previously been connected to the renowned Schrodinger's cut thought experiment. Quantum bits, also known as qubits, can be both living and dead at the same time up until they are noticed, much like Schrodinger's cat. This means that for the sake of this experiment and similar ones, they can store a lot more data very effectively than a conventional computer could. And it follows that they are able to produce simulations of gravity and cosmic events that are so incredibly complicated, including simulations of wormholes. This work has been able to provide an early explanation of quantum gravity by delving into the specifics of wormhole physics utilizing quantum computing, along with apparent demonstrations of quantum information being transmitted across the simulated wormholes. Quantum entanglement should be included as one more crucial idea to the mix. The study's authors initially looked into how the idea of quantum entanglement relates to wormholes. Regardless of how far apart they are from one another, 
Particles are intrinsically entangled in quantum mechanics, forming an instantaneous connection between any two places. Quantum entanglement is crucial for creating faster-than-light communication networks, which may enable instantaneous communication between Earth and other planets. It may also pave the way for teleportation. On Earth, teleportation may seem instantaneous, but it is actually constrained by the speed of light, just like other modes of communication and data transport are. However, quantum entanglement is an exception. We may actually be able to communicate information between this place and that place quickly if we have two entangled particles, one on Earth and one for instance, on Pluto. But let's go back to the quantum gravity research of the theory of everything the researchers in this room have used quantum entanglement to examine wormholes. Examining how a wormhole may be in two places at once and still be connected by using the concepts of entanglement. Once more, the majority of it is confirmed by the quantum computer simulations. Up to a point, the study is theoretical science in action. So, there's a lot going on here, actually. This study not only offered potential explanations for quantum gravity, bringing us one step closer to a theory of everything, but it may also speed up the development of fantastical technologies like teleportation, quantum communication, and a practical way to move faster than the speed of light. But most importantly, this study isn't quite a home run yet. In reality, it only offers a path towards a theory of everything. In the end, it will take some time before we can push it farther because quantum computing is currently at the cutting edge of technology. There is still a lot to be done because so many quantum procedures are still in their initial stages. Perhaps more than any other, scientists are waiting for technology to catch up with their goals in order to make wormhole sims seem less like video games and more like real experiences. What happens, though, if a correct theory of everything is ever verified? It would allow us to comprehend the universe like never before. We would be able to explain extraordinarily complicated objects and occurrences that have eluded us up to now. It would fundamentally alter physics and science as a whole, maybe even more so than Einstein's own publications of his theories at the turn of the 20th century. Our best minds could eventually be guided by a theory of everything, leaving no enigma unanswered and no physical issue unresolved. It goes without saying that this wormhole experiment is not our only option. There are other, occasionally more crazier theories and experiments in motion, which may also one day defy accepted principles of physics. The solution may yet be found in something akin to string theory, which views all the particles of the cosmos as one-dimensional strings that interact with one another and vibrate in various ways. A huge list of well-known figures also endorse string theory. However, it also has the regrettable drawback of needing a great deal more dimensions than the four that humans can see, a great deal more reality planes. However, string theory and its much more complicated sibling, M-theory, have recently contributed to a number of significant advances in both mathematics and physics. Which, if nothing else, demonstrates that a theory need not be completely accurate and faultless in order to be useful. It's possible that this particular wormhole study won't result in a comprehensive theory of everything as well. And in order to get there, we'll need to take a different path. That said, there are still many things it can tell us about how wormholes might work in the larger cosmos. This is undoubtedly an area that needs more research, both in terms of how wormholes work and in terms of developing and producing truly practical applications for quantum computing. There is one perspective on space travel in which future humans would fly through space, visiting various planets and galaxies. Another, however, envisions a much more effective and secure strategy involving sophisticated AI targeted at digital, quantum, and cosmic modeling. This study is a preliminary version of it. And it's possible that this is how scientists came up with the theory of everything. Conclusion While scientists are yet to declare a concrete discovery of a theory of everything, remarkable progress has been made, fueling hope that a unifying framework is within our grasp. 
The pursuit of a theory of everything is a testament to humanity's curiosity and ability to explore the fundamental fabric of the cosmos. With continued dedication and breakthroughs in theoretical and experimental physics, we may one day unravel the deepest mysteries of the universe.